Raphael Faranisi, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Environment, Climate, Tourism and Hospitality Industry, Dr. Dumisani Kuchwayo, Direct, Chief Director, Agricultural Research, Innovation and Development at the Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Development, Chief Director, Political Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, our traditional leaders here present. We have Chief Sengwe from Chirezi, Chief Nekatambe from Wange, Chief Nekuloba from Wange, Miss Elizabeth Clavier de Saint, de Saint Martin, CEO of CIRAD, members of the Diplomatic Corps. Dear colleagues, Ms. and Ms. Uh, Mr. Representatives of the Government of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Mr. Matthew Bogarel, CIRAD representative in Zimbabwe, Professor Paul Mafumo, Vice Chancellor of the University of Zimbabwe, Professor Dizet Moyo, Vice Chancellor, Gwanda State University, Professor Kuipa, Lupani State University, Professor Mwenje, Bindura Investor of Science Education. He is uh, the successor of Matthew Bogarel, Mr. Pierre uh, Gard, here present. Dear partners and friends of CIRAD and of the French Embassy, all protocol observed. It is my pleasure to have the honor of welcoming you to this very great occasion where we meet to celebrate and rejoice for the partnership of CIRAD in Zimbabwe, celebrating their 30 years of presence in, uh, in research in Zimbabwe. It, is, it has been a wonderful journey we have had with CIRAD through the, this uh, last three decades. We've also been honored to have the with us and indeed we have an excellent morning today where we were reflecting on the past research activities of CIRAD and also mapping the way forward. Therefore it is our honor to welcome you to this joyous occasion where we celebrate, where we look forward with hope and excitement. Um, I now hand you over to the ambassador. Thank you sir. Introduction. Um, I think in the dress of time, as I made a complete to reward and say, here tonight that. Uh, that's really a pleasure for me to, to welcome you at, uh, at the, the French residence for, for this important uh, event. Um, we are all here present uh, this evening to welcome Mrs. Elisabeth, Elisabeth Clavry de, de, de Saint-Martin, CEO of CIRAD, the French Agricultural Research Center for International Development, who honors us with a visit to Zimbabwe this week with a delegation. Foreign Ministry. CIRAD is present in some 50 countries on every continent. And today is a special day for us as we are also celebrating 30 years of CIRAD presence in Zimbabwe. Happy birthday to CIRAD 
and to the Syrac team. <laughs>
This is Claudine Samarta. Your presence here tonight symbolizes Sirat's commitment in Zimbabwe and France's will to strengthen the scientific cooperation between our two countries. It paves the way for new, fruitful partnerships in the country, and I thank you for that. I would like to mention two specific tracks on which progress is expected very soon. The implementation of the PRESOD, PRESOD that means Preventing Zoonotic Disease Emergence, initiative in Zimbabwe, and Zimbabwe was the first African country to join that initiative. So congratulations to, to Zimbabwe. <laughs> And also the, the, part the partnership with uh, Zimpax, with a specific attention on uh, Wangi, where the French Research Center is located. To conclude, uh, let me thank Wally, Wally sorry, the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe, and all support for CRAD work, without which this celebration will not have been possible. I propose a toast. The glasses are coming. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, sorry. To Sirad, to its 30 years of presence in Zimbabwe, and to the friendship <laughs> between France and Zimbabwe. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Claverie de Saint-Martin, if I may, if you want. I'll let you the floor. Monsieur Ambassadeur, Ambassador, Charles I will do just like you all critical observed. Um, I was touched. I do not regret um, having uh, let all the work in Paris and coming here. So, 30 years in Zimbabwe is quite a long time. You should think there are many reasons for, for Sihad to be here. The place is fine, the people are nice, the nature is wonderful. So that's a perfect place for, for scientists. And scientists working on agriculture, which is so diversified and so wonderful here, working on natural resources. So it would already make quite a bunch of good reasons for Sihad to be here for so long. But in fact, the story is a bit different. And, and perhaps it's more important what is at stake with these 30 years of presence here. So I would just point three main reasons for why we're here. The first one, is uh, you, the, the colleagues from Zimbabwe. I mean, the incredible commitment, excellencies in science, and will to work and to have an impact of all our Zimbabwean colleagues. So we, ha we are here because there is an incredibly vibrant scientific community here. Despite all of the problems this country has been through. This community has never stopped working and impressing all colleagues from Africa. And you can see it because you can meet quite a lot of Zimbabwean colleagues when you go abroad. I've been in the States and I've met some of them. 
So this is a very strong asset. It's invisible asset, but this is the primary reason why we are here. We are here because you are here. Zimbabwe is very relevant if you look at SIHAD's mandate. SIHAD mandate is, is both a mandate of research for development and also to have an impact, really to, I would say, in simple words, to solve problems. And here you have very interesting problems and very interesting opportunities. And these problems, they are both local, this is why we work so much with the communities, but if we find solution here, we can have an impact on the regional, and on the regional level and perhaps a global one. So, Ambassador has been going through all the projects we've led here, so I won't take the list once again. But what we do here in terms of one's, One Health is really critical for the whole region because it happens here that the risk is so high and that the necessity of prevention is so clear. If we look at how we manage agriculture and preserving the wonderful biodiversity that we have, and if you look at the conclusion of the COP15 we just had in Montréal, what we do here, what we try to do here with all the problems, is really a way to go forward, just to implement what is said at high level, in higher places, at, yeah, at the multilateral level, just to try to have it work, try to find solution so that people can make a living while you're making their job in agriculture and preserving also the heritage, their asset, the riches, which is also this wonderful nature you have here. So this is a global issue, but at the same time it happens here and we have to find solution here. And also, another point, food insecurity this year. There's been a war, there's been a lot of tension in the markets, and this is the core of what we are working on. And so, finding a way to have a solution to intensify and get yields while protecting soil you can call it agroecology. If you don't like the word, you can call it differently. But having ways to preserve the capacity for the new generation to have fertile soils and to have the It's for Zimbabwe. It's for the whole African continent. So this is the second reason why we're here. There are many reasons. There are many problems. They are global. They need local solution. And we really want to work here to find this solution and to have an impact. And there is a last point, which is very important. You, you call about, you, Ambassador talked about friendship. I, I strongly believe in it. And friendship is not a crisis. And crisis we had. And we stayed, and you stayed with us. It was not so easy to work in Zimbabwe some years ago. It was not so easy for, for us to justify that we had to stay here, but we stayed and we never regretted it. And we reinforced a partnership. And that's the good news. <laughs> we are not alone. First, because we can count on the French team and, of course, on the embassy and the French government, which is really supporting every action we, we have here on the ground, either by financing, either politically, and making life easier for us, so a big thing for them. Also, all the colleagues from the European Union, and I, I'm thinking also of the European Commission, which is presented here, as we work a lot on European projects, and also because we've been backed to stay here even when it was complicated by the European Union. And this makes also a difference. And also, the other partners, the other colleagues, we work on a daily basis because the relationship between Zimbabwe and Sihad is not an exclusive one. We have lots of colleagues from other universities coming from South Africa. 
colleagues from other institutions of research, of course, in the French team, and who have also other networks that can thank people. The colleague from I IRD here, yes. and our colleague from CNRS, I cannot see. Okay, I'll be here. So we are not alone, and I would like to conclude by saying that not only we are not alone, but we don't like the door to be closed. So if you happen to have an idea or a project, something where we can be useful, the door is always open, and we'd be more than happy to discuss, to see where we can be useful, how we can help. And this is really the spirit of Sirad and the spirit I would like you to remember for Sirad. Pierre is at your disposal and Mathieu has not left yet, so he can do. <laughs> of course, the whole team of Sirad here, I would really like to thank and I was not alone coming here. I went with uh, people from Montpellier and Paris and director from, from scientific department, chief of uh, unit of research, and they too are at your disposal. And their involvement is also very important. So Sihad is Zimbabwe. It's the all Sihad working for Zimbabwe, with Zimbabwe, and to make a solution for the whole world. This is what I would really like for the next 30 years. I had partnership. I had a door that's always open. I had a uh, a lot of uh, promise for the future, so thank you very much for those kind words. It is my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to call upon our permanent secretary. It is my honor to call upon the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Environment, Climate, Tourism, and Hospitality Industry, Ambassador Rafael T. Paranisi, to give us in address. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And following up on the last speaker and the Excellency, in order not to miss any minute on celebrating our cooperation, I will say, all protocols of SENT. Um, Your Excellency, um, the Chief Executive Office of the French Agricultural Research and International Cooperation, CIRAC, Madame Elizabeth Clavery de Saint-Martin. Uh, my French is not so good, I hope I've uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, excellencies, <laughs> dear colleagues, and uh, other stakeholders, um, it gives me great pleasure uh, to be here to represent government and celebrate this momentous occasion. As has already been said, we are celebrating a milestone historic occasion that is 80 years of the presence of the French Agricultural Research and Operation Organization, CIRAD in Zimbabwe. What began as a single project in Mashingo in 1993, when something very simple, goat production in communal lands, as well as a study on comparative ecology of cattle and wild herbivores in an extensive range area near Kadoma is translated into three decades of solid multi-sectoral partnership spanning the agricultural sector, the environment and animal health sectors amongst others. Full research through capacity building of our researchers and scientists 
as well as partnerships in the development of innovative solutions to challenges faced in the areas I've just mentioned above. And this has contributed to increased conservation of flora and fauna, safeguarded our rich biodiversity, and you are aware that uh, we are home to some of the really valued biodiversity assets in the region and globally, and also strengthened the resilience of our rural populations in view of the growing impact of climate change. And I must add that you said you are here forever. We want you here because climate change is for real and there are so many areas we will have to cooperate in. On behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Zimbabwe, I wish to extend our heartfelt gratitude for this invaluable multi-sectoral and multi-level material and technical support that CIRAD has rendered to Zimbabwe over the last 30 years. This commitment that CIRAD has demonstrated in this period is remarkable and deserves a very warm applause of appreciation from all us. Please, we can do better. Thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, I wish to note that this historic commemoration clearly reflects the desire by France to support Zimbabwe's development. May I take this opportunity to reiterate Zimbabwe's appreciation and acknowledgement of the positive, constructive, bridge-building approach that France I know there have been difficult times, but the most important thing is that there's been dialogue, and I'm sure you've been following recent events that clearly demonstrate that uh, the Second Republic is open, will not sweep anything under the carpet, and we are open to a uh, dialogue. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to know that CIRAD is committed to continue, as you had it, in supporting programs to promote agroecology and smart agriculture for climate change adaptation, animal disease, and capacity building through the training of the next generation